Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my channel. In the previous video, I explained uh, the causes of the pancreatism as it is uh, that uh, congenital deformity where the two uh, dots, uh, dorsal and the ventral, fail to fuse together to form one pancreatic duct, you know. And its uh, symptoms are like the abdominal pain and uh, uh, pancreatitis, which is the inflammation of the pancreas, you know. And it can be uh, diagnosed with the help of ultrasound or ERCP and uh, uh, MRI and endoscopic ultrasound, you know. Uh, what's diagnosed and what are the treatment options? This is the topic for today, you know. Uh, but before starting this, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, uh, the pancreas uh, without symptoms needs uh, no treatment. And uh, sometimes uh, uh, the patients don't feel any problem uh, throughout their lives, you know. And it uh, goes unnoticed. And the treatment of the patients with the abdominal pain uh, and the uh, recurrent pancreatitis uh, uh, attribute uh, to the pancreas division has not been well established, you know. And uh, the, some doctors will attempt uh, uh, the like uh, uh, sphincterotomy, you know. So, which is uh, uh, the cutting of the minor papilla during the ERCP to. Uh, enlarge uh, its opening, you know, so this way the, the pressure uh, decreases, you know, or the, if there is any kind of backlog, uh, the back pressure, you know, uh, of the juices that uh, drain from the uh, pancreas uh, to the duodenum, you know. And uh, others will insert a stent uh, during the ERCP which is a procedure mostly used to diagnose this condition, you know. And uh, uh, just to, uh, like, uh, prevent any blockage or any back pressure, you know. And these procedures uh, are not the risk-free. And uh, the patients with the symptomatic pancreas division are best evaluated and uh, treated by the doctors in, uh, like, uh, the uh, centers experienced in the treating uh, uh, these kind of uh, the pancreatic diseases, you know. So uh, you should be in uh, the experienced hands for these procedures. Uh, the prognosis uh, uh, of this condition uh, remain symptomatic and uh, uh, therefore the prognosis is uh, excellent, you know. And uh, for those patients who with the symptoms of the pancreatitis, the prognosis is uh, no different than uh, that of uh, unaffected population who develop the pancreatitis, you know. So, even after the treatment, the pancreatitis may reoccur, you know, and uh, it's important to remember uh, uh, there is no clear evidence to support the casual relationship between the pancreas division and the pancreatitis, you know. So, thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseaseintreatment.com. So I will review the whole the pancreatic uh, 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 division. So this is a congenital abnormality where the two dots uh, during the uh, um, uh, initial development of the embryo, you know, they fail to fuse together. As a result, uh, they fail to make one big uh, pancreatic duct. So as the pressure, when the juices are released, the pressure develops and uh, the patient may feel abdominal pain and recurrent uh, pancreatitis, you know. MRI and uh, endoscopic ultrasound are the uh, most important uh, diagnostic tests and the treatment options are the surgery, you know, which can be helpful. The prognosis sometimes is good in this sphere. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Goodbye.